Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. Good morning. In this episode, we're going to talk about Tor onion writing with Kali Linux, but compare proxy chains with Tor socks. So first off, we're going to install Tor on Kali by doing apt-get space install space Tor. This takes a few minutes, so once it's done, we'll go ahead and then compare the difference between proxy chains and Tor socks. Now let's run proxy chains and then ice weasel and then what's my IP address. And as you can see, nothing happens. We'll do the same thing with Tor socks. Tor socks, ice weasel, and what's my IP address. As you can see, nothing happens. We're going to have to start the Tor service first. So we're going to go and close here and just type in service space Tor space start. Once it's started, we'll go and run the two items again. Now we're going to run proxy chains, ice weasel, and what's my IP address again to show you that we are on a Tor network or exit relay. We're going to do the same thing with Tor socks. As you can see, run a Tor exit relay. Now let's do something a little bit different. I'm going to do proxy chains and then go to a website called start page. It's very common with the Tor network and the Tor browser project. Let's go to start page. We're going to look for a search engine called Grams Search Net. So Grams can only be gone to on the dark net. And that's, you can see the website up above. We're going to do proxy chains, ice weasel, and then grams. As you can see, you cannot get to it through proxy chains. You can, however, get to it through Tor or Tor socks. The reason is, is because proxy chains doesn't do a really good job with DNS. With Tor socks, it does a great job with the .onion DNS. We're going to do a couple searches, see passports. We're definitely able to use the gram search engine. Let's go and do drugs. That's a common thing on the search engine. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and look for botnets, just to show you that you can go to .onion addresses using Torsoc. And to mix things up a little bit, instead of using Iceweasel, I'm going to use a text browser called Lynx. Go to the same website, the Gram Search Engine, and as you can see, it is just text-based. It's a little bit safer, still can get cookies, but you're not going to run into a lot of the potential vulnerabilities like you would with uh, any sort of scripting languages like JavaScript or VBScript. And as you can see, I am searching through grams. Now I'm going to go to Agora. Here's one of the downsides about Lynx. It's sometimes if you go to a website that takes any sort of CAPTCHA, any uh, graphic representation, you may not be able to use it. If you need to do an assessment on a .onion address or Tor network, there are some potential problems. For example, proxy chains does not really work that well going back to the DNS issue, but Tor socks does. Sometimes, however, all the ports that you scan, you don't come up with anything, so you need to pick specific ports. Now I'm going to scan Torch. Torch is another search engine which does not specialize in darknet uh, black markets. This just does your basic darknet. So going to go Tor socks, the end map. Again, turning off ping, forcing it to TCP connect, and trying to do a faster scan. Again, once we try to scan everything, nothing pops up. But if you scan specific ports, you will find something. And as you can see, when we do scan, port is open. If you like this video, share it with the world. Stay tuned for more cyber secrets.